My beautiful people, welcome! Today I'm taking you for a cabin crew layover to Bangkok in Thailand. Very short, one night in Bangkok, but the most fun and memorable in my cabin crew career. Let's go! Welcome to my hotel room. This is the washroom. Nicely equipped, uh, but unfortunately no bathtub. But fortunately, a nice mirror. And hopefully bed will be comfy. Some comforter and the view, the view, the view. Mm, no view, it's okay. At least the room feels cozy and we're not planning to spend here much of the time. I will just have a proper rest because it was a night flight. And after that we're going with the crew to see the city. Actually I didn't plan to even make a vlog from Bangkok because I wanted to like fully enjoy the city and I want to remember my first time in Bangkok. Excited but tired and uh, sleep is needed. We are actually going to planning to go for a night out, so the night's gonna be long. We need some good rest. strong from visiting Kaosan Street. It's a must-see in Bangkok. Honestly, it's a hell on earth. I hated it, but I loved it. Full of bars, clubs, ladyboys, crazy street food, full of cheap entertainment. I cannot believe that people actually work here every night, being bombarded with loud music, smells, lights, all at the same time from all of these places at once. It's 3 a.m. in the morning and we just got back from the city. I look like I look. We were just traveling with Tuk Tuk all this time, so the hair is just all over. I had such an amazing time. I cannot believe what just happened. And we had an amazing crew. Eight people came to visit the city. And it was the first layover when I didn't have to plan and think where to go and to see the, like wh where I'm located on the map, like uh, where I have to catch the internet, nothing like this. The other crew that are more experienced, they've been traveling to Bangkok already a few times. They knew all the spots, they knew all the places, so they were our guides. And it was so nice. They really took us for the best possible layover, I think. Of course, we've seen all the places that you should uh, see in Bangkok. I will not uh, get into detail, but um, if you know, you know. Ate amazing food, of course, uh, rice with mango, pad thai. I really felt like eating everything on the street. It looked amazing. 
I am literally in love with the city one night in Bangkok is not enough, definitely not. The only thing that I was able to see today was just the um, party side of the of Bangkok. I cannot believe that one decision in my life led me to the the highest point in my, of my life where every day I'm happy. Of course I'm facing challenges, but I am so grateful and happy for where I am and if I have to face some challenges, I think it's definitely worth because the life that uh, I'm having right now with these all possible layovers, people that you get to know, their stories, it's just indescribable. I'm going to sleep now because um, tomorrow we are planning to go for some massage because our pickup time from the hotel is quite late. It's at 2 p.m. so we still have time to properly sleep, have a breakfast and really I'm looking forward to come to the city again. Good morning, we just woke up and I'm going for my refreshment walk on the streets nearby the hotel and I'm looking forward to go back to Sylvester to put that into my cat. It's time to hit the road. Bangkok, you are treating me beautifully. I'm really looking forward to come back. Hopefully it will be happening uh, very, very often and soon because I'm trained uh, for Airbus 350 and it's one of the places that uh, this plane is uh, going pretty often. So I have so many things to do. I have a full bucket list what to do in Bangkok. It was really amazing and Thank you so much for staying with me till the end and if you liked this video, please uh, share your thoughts. Mm, I would appreciate all the comments, likes. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please, uh, please do and I guess see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.